To start, I'm going to tease my hair so I have some volume. And then I'm going to comb it out with this brush just lightly on top. And I'll leave the brush below in the description box if you're interested. And then you're going to move all of your hair to the side that has the least amount of hair that you part on. I like to start on that side. Take a little section and tie that off with a clear elastic band. Tie it just an inch or two above your neck. Once you have the first one, you're going to take another small section and tie that in an elastic as well. Once you have the two, you're going to split the first ponytail in half and open those pieces up and pull the second ponytail through the middle. Now you're going to clip that off and you're going to do another small section, but this time you're going to add the hair into that section. clip out and do the same thing. You're going to split it in half. Pull the second ponytail through and clip the second ponytail. Another small section and add that into your next ponytail. I chose to do six ponytails but I've done seven before too so you can take as big or little sections as you want. And you can notice that I'm not sectioning the hair going from the very top of my head all the way down because I, I don't want to see a line of where each section starts. I want it to be really subtle. So I'm mostly grabbing the sections from underneath. Now before I take my last section, I want to go in the front and take out any pieces that I want. When you've added all of your hair in, we'll take that top section and tie that with an elastic. And stick your finger through, and you're going to pull that other ponytail through that hole. Now tie that with an elastic, and do the same thing, all the way down. Now we're going to go through and pull apart this braid, and this is what makes it look so cool. I had to use one hand while I was doing the first couple sections because I don't have a mirror that I can look at and use both hands, so if you do have a mirror that you can look at and see the back of your head while you're pulling apart, then I would recommend doing that. It also helps if you don't tie your elastics super tight, because if you do them a little bit looser, your hair will just pull out easier. And I'm just going to continue pulling apart the braid until I get to the very bottom. Take that end and you're going to tuck it under the bottom and bobby pin that in. So it looks like the braid is just continuing and you don't know where it stops. Feel free to use bobby pins to secure it to your head if you feel like it needs it. Now I'm just going to fix the front and pull it out a little bit more because I want more volume. And hairspray it. And you're done. Thanks for watching.